What up, Woodies? Welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. Kennard here, coming at you with another hardware review. And today, we're taking a look at a tank and mod combo by Smoant. This is the Knight V1. What up, All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Vaporwood. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are talking about this little tank and mod combo by Smo Ant. Yeah, this is uh, this is the Knight V1 kit. It's a little single 18650 60 watt mod, does temp control, got the tank down inside it. But we'll get to all that, guys. Let's get right to it. Let's go down. Let's get up close. Let's get up in them guts. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are up close with the Smoant Knight V1 TC Pocket Mod in black and white. Here's some real quick specs about the mod. It is a stealth vaping pocket mod. It does 1 to 60 watts of output power. It has an output voltage of 0.5 to 7.0 volts. It takes a single 18650 battery. Temperature control mode supports nickel, titanium, and stainless steel. They have spring-loaded 510 pins with stainless steel connectors. Um, there's also a pass-through, so you can charge and vape on it while it's charging. It will fire down to a 0 0.1 ohm resistance, and it also has low resistance protection, overtime protection, reverse polarity protection, overheating protection. The side with your LED screen says Smo Ant Night V1 at the bottom. Front with your buttons and your case to see your juice flow. The back side with your USB port for charging. This contoured side will fit in the palm of your hand very nicely. There's the bottom. And here's the top. The batteries go right underneath this big rubber button. Just grab a hold of it and give it a screw. I'll screw that on out of there. And there will be your single 18650 battery. There is venting on that cap. I don't know how much good that does being as this big rubber plug is on there, but the venting is there. It is also marked for negative, so that's to let you know the negative goes up. You just screw it back on like so, and you're all set. It's very easy to remove the tank from the cage. Just grab a hold of it and untwist, and it will come right on out of there like so this is the Talos V1 sub ohm tank by Smoant that comes with the night mod this is a 22 millimeter sub ohm tank and it does have dual adjustable bottom airflow in the ring here you just spin the ring and it has a stopper on both sides so it will stop when you get to the end of the airflow this tank does come with this little stainless steel 510 drip tip that comes out of there you can vape it without that and just vape on this little knurling part if you like that'll put your mouth really close to the top of this but i did it for a while it wasn't too bad or you can use your own 510 drip tip it is a top fill tank it's very easy you just grab a hold of this knurling section here right underneath the drip tip and twist off your top and fill on either side through the bean shaped fill holes coil comes out through the bottom just like any other sub owned tank pretty standard stuff and there's your coil this does come with a 0.5 ohm clapton coil and you will also get a titanium coil as well and you just screw it back on like so and you're all set I did get a little juice on my hands from the drip tip but that was my own fault and there you can see without the tank inside the mod you can see down to the 510 connection and that 510 connection is spring-loaded. One thing I will mention is kind of a con. These 510s get loose. Um, it was very loose when I first got it. But there is a little Allen screw in there. So you take an Allen key and you tighten that up. And it tightens up this 510 no problem. But when I first got it, it was loose. And the tank was wiggling inside there. It is nice to know that Allen key is there. So if you do need to take this apart, you can. Here's your fire button. Your wattage up and down buttons. The screen is on the side of the mod. So to turn it on, it's five clicks to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five. You get the little Smo Ant screen, Night V1. And it's on. It remembers my last setting. I use it at 40 watts with that tank. 
but it does go up to 60 watts and if you hold the if you hold the wattage up button it'll scroll a little faster 60 watts okay to pick your modes you'll click the fire button three times one two three and there you have mode one is variable wattage mode Mode 2 is variable voltage mode. Mode 3 is nickel mode, NI200 mode. Mode 4 is titanium mode. And mode 5 is stainless steel mode. So you do have temp control options for all of all the different types of wire that are out there. Since we're right here, I'm going to go ahead and pick nickel mode and slap a nickel coil in there. We'll do the cotton burn test real quick. In temp control mode, you will hold both the, the power up and power down buttons at the same time to do like a resistance lock. So now our resistance is set. To manually adjust your joules, you will hold down the power up and the fire button. And you can change your joules all the way up to 60. And let's go up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can see we got the dry coil in there. This is an Inikin NI200 coil. I like these because they have the threading right on them. I can just screw them right into the 510 connection. So let's go ahead and hit this fire button and see what happens. Got a little puff, of course. Has to kick on before the temp control can, can detect it. We are getting a dry coil. It is continuing to like count on the counter. It doesn't look like it's firing though. So yeah, in a normal vaping situation, I imagine the temp control works just fine as far as the dry hit protection. Alright guys, and there's what is left of the cotton. You can see it is charred on the inside. That's to be expected. I had it turned all the way up, 60 joules. 600 degrees and that was completely dry cotton of course I had to fire real quick to get the reading and the temperature control to kick in and it did kick in and say dry coil so I imagine in a normal vaping situation with liquid and your coil being slightly moist and then going dry it will the dry hit prevention will work no problem just as advertised and you may be thinking oh I didn't get to see the unboxing well these are sample kits. These are kits for the reviewers. I'm not sure if they all went out like this, but mine did. I didn't get any boxes or anything. Everything was just kind of in a bubble wrap envelope like so. So I'll show you everything you get with it. You do get some cotton. You do get this rebuildable deck. Well, it's got a screw on there. You would unscrew that, to take the barrel off, but you can unscrew this top portion just to look in there. And it is a single coil build deck. You would just put your wick right through the middle there, cut it off at the sides, make sure it was even with make sure it was even with those wicking holes there, and you'd be all set, ready to go with a little single coil RBA base. You also get the instructions for the Talos tank, instructions for the mod itself. You get a little bag of goodies with screwdrivers and O-rings and all that good stuff. You also get your USB charging cable, and you'll get this 0.5 ohm titanium coil for temperature control mode. Now just to show you guys, it does fit other 22 millimeter tanks. Here is the 22 millimeter Griffin inside of there, and it works just fine. So if you have other tanks you want to use, you can, you can use other tanks. One thing I do want to point out, and it is a major con, you have your airflow here, which is nice. Your airflow here is kind of cut off. Now there is kind of a space that runs up the back of here, so you do get a little bit of airflow in that back one. But depending on how the airflow in your tank is milled out, um, you might run into issues with having your airflow blocked off. Now with the Talos tank on there, it's a bit smaller around than the Griffin, so the airflow doesn't feel as blocked off. It can still get air through that gap down to that airflow. But as you can see, the way they milled it, only the front airflow is exposed. I think that's a major design flaw. Why would you not cut it so that either this whole front half was an airflow 
just have one single airflow that's this whole front piece or make it so that the airflow is here and here I don't know that that's just me that's just something I thought about all right. but, but all right guys there you have it that's basically it for the Smoant little 60 watt pocket mod night v1 kit let's back on out talk about it get the pros and cons the final thoughts and get on out of here all right folks there you have it the up close the ins and outs the guts of the night v1 and talos tank by Smoan. let's dive right into those pros and cons pro number one pro number one is the design i definitely like the design it is a small pocket mod it looks good at first i wasn't quite sold on it when i first got it but the more i used it the more I looked at it, I, it grew on me and I started to like it. And I really I really do like the design. Pro number two. Pro number two is ease of use. The menu is very easy to get around in. It's three clicks to get to your modes. And then you got an up and down button to select your modes. Very easy, very simple to use. And everything seems to work every time so far. And just bear in mind, I've had these for about three weeks now. First con. First con for me, guys, is button placement. I really do not like the position of this fire button. I have to hold it like that kind of halfway in my hand to be able to click that fire button or if you hold it completely in your hand you have to use your ring finger and then the problem I run into is my fingers are covering up the airflow on the tank ends up super restricted so what I have kind of been doing is I, I place my pointer finger on these top ridges here and then use my middle finger for the button so it's kind of weird, but I kind of hold it like that and just use this finger. But yeah, button placement is definitely a con. Second con. Second con, guys, is the airflow placement. Now, I showed in the up close, there is a gap back here to where it gets some airflow down, to where it does get some air down to that rear airflow there. But it, this seems to be a major design flaw to me. Why would you not have the airflow here and here or do this whole side as one big airflow instead of having one of your airflows in the back and it's halfway choked off that just that just seems like a pretty big design flaw to me con number three these drip tips i do not like these drip tips guys i don't like metal drip tips and also i don't like why would they give you a stainless steel drip tip why not just paint it or give you a delrin drip tip to match the color of the mod i will say it looks a little odd having these stainless steel drip tips on top of these. Con number four. The fourth con and last con, guys, is the paint on these isn't the greatest, and I will show you on the white one here when I got it out of the box. All right, guys, when I got this out of the box, I know it's kind of hard to see, but there's a nice chip in the paint right there, and that, that was just how that was when I got it. And also, there's a nice scratch in the black one inside there. You can't see it with the tank in there, um, but there is a nice scratch, and that did come from the Griffin when this 510 connection was loose before I tightened it up with that Allen screw that I talked about in the up close. Um, the tank was wobbling around in there when I unscrewed it, it rubbed right up against there and cleaned that paint right off of there. So the coating isn't the greatest guys, it will, it will scratch off if you're not careful. All right guys, get them cheesy graphics out. It's time for them final thoughts. Final thoughts on the Night V1 kit by Smoant. It's not too shabby guys, it's got a couple cons couple things but nothing nothing game breaking nothing deal breaking for me it works just like it's supposed to it's a pretty cool little pocket mod i like it guys i am enjoying the vape that i get from it and these tanks are at 40 watts guys check it out and those are on the clapton coil heads that they come with flavor is really really good actually the flavor is top notch i will give it that top notch flavor with those clapped and coil heads and i think for the price it's a great little mod it's a great little setup for on the go it's pretty discreet it will fit in your hand although you're going to cover up that airflow but on 101vape.com link will be in the description down below where you can pick this up for yourself they are taking pre-orders for 38.99 so these aren't even out yet I'm not sure when they're supposed to ship, but 101 Vape has them, has the pre-orders they're taking for $38.99. So for the price, guys, it is a nice little setup. I think you will really enjoy it. Be able to hide your tank a little bit. Single 18650. It does pass through charge, so you can vape it while it's charging. Not too shabby, guys. All right, guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Talking about the Night V1 Pocket Kit by Smoant. Comes with the Talos tank. 
Pretty nice little setup. Link will be in the description down below where you can pick one up for yourself. I forgot to mention earlier, guys, but the liquid I was using today is called Strawberry Cookie Butter. A delicious e-liquid, guys. There will be a link in the description where you can go find some of this as well. I'm in the mood for a giveaway, guys. Let's do a giveaway. Let's give away one of these, one of these Night V1 kits. What do you think about that? How should we do this giveaway? I'm gonna vape real quick while I think about this. <laughs> I had an idea while I was sitting there having my vape. I always have my Stormtrooper mug handy. You know, I told you guys I've been doing the videos in the mornings before I go to work. So I always have my mug handy when I'm doing my videos and need my water. Today's choice is apple juice. Um, so here's how we're going to do this giveaway, guys. First of all, you have to be 18 to win anything on my channel. Let's just get that out of the way now. You also have to be a subscriber to my channel to enter the giveaways or win anything in the giveaways. Let's just get that out of the way right now. So to enter this giveaway, it's gonna be pretty simple, guys. All you need to do is like the video, and in the comments down below, I want you guys to name my Stormtrooper Cup. I've never said a name, he doesn't have a name, he needs a name. So you guys, it's up to the Woodies, name my Stormtrooper Cup. In the comments down below, leave your selection for what you think the name of my Stormtrooper mug should be. And I'm going to pick the top five names. Those top five names that I like the most are gonna go into a randomizer. One of the top five names will name my Stormtrooper mug, but will also get this black Knight V1 setup with the tank and a titanium coil and the rebuildable deck and all the little extras that it comes with. All right, so just to reiterate, guys, make sure you like the video and in the comments down below, put in what you think the name of my Stormtrooper mug should be. Once again, I'm gonna pick the top five names, put them in a randomizer. The winner will name the Stormtrooper mug and will also get the black Knight V1 kit by Smoant. And real quick, the winner will be responsible for covering the shipping costs on this. It should be right around $6 and some change, right around 7 bucks. So not too bad. But all right, folks, that's all I have for you tonight. Talking about the Knight V1 by Smoant. Remember, in the description down below, there will be links to where you can find the e-liquid that I used tonight, as well as where you can put in a pre-order for one of these Knight V1 pocket kits. There's also a couple other links down there for some of my favorite products. You guys, there's a link for Pegasus Vapor Academy. All that good stuff down there. So definitely remember, check the description down below for all the links for everything you saw in this video and more. All right, let's wrap this up, shall we? Keep chasing those clouds, my friends. Live long and vapor.